The chickens have been wreaking havoc on our property and it's our fault. I had pictured that we could have chickens living with us. You know, you sit down, you have lunch with the family outside and you see chickens running around and you just co-mingle and everything would be fantastic. I was dead wrong. They have demolished our outside area and it was a terrible idea. And instead of the poop making our lives worse, that poop could make our lives better. I would like to make a large elaborate chicken tractor, but unfortunately we don't have a ton of time. There's a channel off grid with Doug and Stacy and Doug makes a cheap, fast chicken tractor. And that's what we need because we only have two days before we are having a barbecue and having some friends over and we got to get those chickens out of there and we need to clean all of the stuff sufficient enough for it to be sanitary and nice. Let's go get the items that we need at the store. We got two 16 foot hog panels and two rolls of chicken wire. We didn't even use one for the end result. Luckily, we happen to have some wood laying around the homestead that would work perfect as a base for our chicken tractor. Then it was time to measure out our wood, make the cuts, and then we attached the pieces of wood using screws at an angle so it would tie the pieces of wood together. In the end, we ended up with a nice rectangular base for our chicken tractor. Next, I cut the hog panel using a grinder. We then used the base to bend the hog panel in the shape we wanted for the chicken tractor. I tried using a stapler to fix the hog panel to the wood and that failed. The next approach that I used was using scrap pieces of wood and screws and that kind of worked but it broke in several places. I ended up using a combination of that and driving in screws where they still would hang out of the wood far enough to where they'd catch the hog panel if the hog panel were to slide up. I used zip ties to attach the back to the sides of the chicken tractor. Next I cut some chicken wire and we attached it with a tool which is hog ring pliers. When you clamp the pliers down it creates a ring that can hold chicken wire or welded fabric together. This gave us a full frame that the chickens couldn't get out of. Now we just need to add a covering via a tarp and we'll use those same zip ties to attach the tarp to the chicken tractor. Then I simply cut the tarp with scissors to match the size that I was looking for. Kylan really wanted to help and did a fantastic job cleaning the patio sets, soaking the cushions, cleaning the deck, and all the things. I had an axle and some wheels from a previous chicken tractor that I never finished. We'll just set our chicken tractor on top of that as well as use a dolly in order to move this thing on the field. I really would have liked to have animals in order to clear these weeds in the back, but they were too tall, we couldn't get the chicken tractor through, and we used a mower to knock down those weeds. I was a little worried on the morning of the last day before the barbecue, but everything came together. We were able to get the chickens out of there and the patio area looking nice, and we had a very pleasant barbecue. As far as the door's concerned, opening and closing, as well as locking. This is the mechanism that we settled on. So we have these carabiners and you can attach those on the top in order to close the door. We could have used carabiners at the bottom as well, but we use these that are a little more sturdy. Oh, the chickens are <laughs> jumping on here. Can you get down? No? Can you get down? All right. Well, they don't want to let me close the door, so I guess we're just going to leave it open. 
but I had problems with the coupe on the first night. It was extremely windy, slightly rainy. In the morning, I noticed there was a draft. I'm told the combination of a draft and chickens getting wet could spell disaster for their health and I don't wanna take the risk. I had a second layer of tarp. Obviously, I didn't do that good of a job. It looks like trash. But this time, the tarp is stapled to the wood at the bottom without holes in the side. This should stop the draft altogether. I wish we could say we lived happily ever after, but the following night, it rained harder. Less wind, but more rain. I was very fearful that a puddle could gather inside the coop. I don't know how founded my worries actually were, but the following day I added two roosts to allow the chickens to stand inside of the chicken tractor without touching the ground. From now on, the chickens are gonna be making our field more green and fertile as opposed to destroying our outside patio area.